Today we want to take you on a journey through one of the most iconic ghost towns in the US. Bodie was founded as a mining town during the gold rush in the late 1800s and was abandoned in the 1940s after mining had stopped. We will give you our favorite spots in the town, important things you have to know before coming to Bodie and tell you how to perfectly fit this stop into your road trip itinerary. So stay tuned until the end of this video, let's go! Coming from Highway 395, you will enter Bodhi State Historic Park by a 13 mile road of which the last 3 miles are dirt road. At the entrance you have to pay a fee of $8 per adult to enter the park. Be aware to bring enough cash with you since they do not accept cards. Together with your ticket, you will also get a nice map of the town with all the highlights, interesting background information and the best route to take to check out all the main sites. After you park your car, you can start exploring the infamous 19th century mining town of Bodhi right away. Everything is easy to walk and by using the guide you got at the entrance, you cannot miss the highlights Bodhi has to offer. Our first highlight was Main Street, with the most interesting houses to explore and also the museum where you can enjoy a lot of interesting exhibits. The next highlight is the last standing church of Bodhi, where you can also have a look inside. There is even an old organ still standing in the far right corner. The next highlight is the Boone store and warehouse, where you can see how a shop would have looked like in the early 1900s. Amazing! Another highlight would be the standard mill on the top of the hill, where you can also book guided tours for. But the most impressive thing was to just stroll around and soak in the atmosphere from another era by walking into an abandoned, fully accessible house where there was still furniture and wallpaper present. but also have a peek into an old casino, an old school, the firehouse, etc. It was amazing and it took us back a hundred years to the past. Absolutely incredible. We highly recommend visiting Bodhi, especially if you are in the area during your road trip. The entry fee is absolutely reasonable and definitely worth it. To make your trip to Bodhi even better, we have some important tips for you that you need to know before coming to Bodhi. Here they come! First of all, before coming to Bodhi, be sure to bring enough water and food since there are no services available. However, there are plenty of restrooms. Since Bodhi is located at a high elevation, weather can be more extreme, so make sure to bring appropriate clothes, sunscreen, etc. Just in case. There is also limited cell service. This adds to the back to the past experience. Also, good to know, there is no lodging possible, so make sure to find accommodation in a 20 to 30 mile radius or to include this stop into your road trip and we will tell you how. 
For us, the best way to include Bodhi in our amazing US road trip was by coming from the south, passing Mono Lake, which is also a must-see stop on your way to Bodhi. From there, it is not far anymore. After your visit to Bodhi, you can drive back south to Mono Lake and enter Yosemite National Park at the town of Lee Vining via the famous Tayoga Pass. From there, you can continue your awesome journey with plenty of lodging possibilities. We hope you liked this video on our visit to Bodhi Ghost Town here on Stuffer. If you don't want to miss more awesome videos for your perfect Western US road trip and other places from all over the world, make sure to check out our channel, subscribe and hit that bell notification. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below on what you think of Bodhi. Have you ever been here or to another ghost town? Thanks for watching. Do you want to see us stuff more food in our mouths? Then subscribe to our channel or watch another stuffer.